It's very, very exciting. It's pretty surreal. I mean, this is the first time I've I've dressed up in um, a year and a half, so <laughs> it feels a little uh, like I'm hallucinating. But um, it's it's so exciting to share this movie. We're all really proud of this movie, and um, and it was such a great experience making it that you know I'm excited for people to see it. I mean, this movie was made for the big screen, so we're very excited if people are comfortable to go see it in theaters and the costumes and the hair and makeup and the sound, the music, the cinematography, all of it, I think is, um, is really deeply enjoyed on the big screen and that's my favorite way to see movies, so I hope, I hope people go see it. I think a lot of it is a testament to Craig Gillespie, our director, because he is, he's someone who can explain the tone that he's thinking of and actually execute that tone which is more rare than you might think. I mean, it's very hard to do, um, but it's so fast paced and fun and lively throughout the whole thing. But Jenny Bevan, the costume designer, is a genius and Nadia Stacy, who did the hair and makeup, is also a genius. So it was like, and Fiona, who did the production design. It, there were so many incredible artists that worked on this movie and I think everybody was really at the top of their game and really um, just, it, it was incredible to see them just get the kind of license to fly free with what they were coming up with for this character and for the Baroness and just the whole world of, of Cruella and um, yeah so it's a it's a very special project. It's a very exciting thing to know that people are fans of Cruella and I hope that the fans of Cruella as a character are happy with this movie. This movie is a lot of fun. She is, of course, Cruella de Vil, who is a very evil character, <laughs> like the most evil, maybe, in the Disney canon. But, uh, but the movie is a reimagining of this, of this classic character, and I think it's a lot of fun. It's very exciting and fast-paced, and after the really crazy year we've had, if you're looking for something that is really fun and to, you know, just, just forget about the world for two hours and to be immersed in 70s London and these capers and cons and all of the things that Cruella and Jasper and Horace get up to, then um, I think this is a, a, great, a great place to go.